On the table, there must be a chip. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> See, we have for the Nissan Trail Seeker, and everything's empty. Why? We had the day before, like usual. Need to make a weekend of these away races, enjoy the time with the family. As you can see, back there somewhere, everybody's chilling in the car, trying to hide from the sun. Everybody thinks it's winter, but honestly, it's boss felt. The only time it's winter here is night time. Just set up these two big ass gazebos for the LCC chill zone. Gonna have some black of beers after the race tomorrow, some booty rolls, and just chat to some awesome people. And well, yeah, everything's so dead here, yeah? but it's quite nice checking it out before the storm, you know, the quiet before the storm kind of thing. It's quite awesome. Gotta give a shout out to Biogen over there looking after all the water points and looking after everybody as you finish. Oh, check there. That B, that's my my starting group. Oh yeah. I was in A last time, but man, those boys start fast. They just killed me. Uh, literally, I cannot keep up with them. Get halfway through the race, burned all my energy and just hit a wall. So I'm quite happy, quite stoked to be in B batch. It's gonna be quite good. At least they start a bit slower, start closer to my pace. Yeah, it's going to be good starting with B-Batch. I quite enjoyed the last time I rode B. Done quite well. I'm going to manage it to the end, but yeah. I wasn't eating good that day, but yeah. Now I think tomorrow, I've got my eating plan all sorted. Got all my little energy chachets and energy drinks and all that nonsense. Awesomeness. Have a look back there. Got somewhere back there. The socks, socks brand, right? As you can see, sporting them socks. Red Sock Friday, you got to do it. Check out the cause. Such an awesome story. Basically, guys from World War II went through absolute hell together, and they decided when they got out of it that they're gonna wear red socks every Friday to remember each other, to remember those that fell, those that survived. All the friendships made and then on top of that there's also a couple of other stories that's built out of the whole red sock friday brand that's it's an awesome thing to check out yeah definitely have a look at it red sock friday got a shout out to them give me goosebumps reading that stuff good job howdy Good morning and welcome race number three of the Nissan Trail Seeking Gap in Kartek Mabalingue at the Lineman 70 km marathon coming your way. It's a beautiful day. What up? I'm here, yeah, day off the, the trail seeker, and man, was that a, a race. Sure. As you can check, recording out of the boss felt still, still there with the family. Having a lack of week in a way. Yeah, it's quite awesome. We've got some Impala, Roy Bookies, and some zebra down there. The whole family is taking photos of them, enjoying it. Um, yeah, back to the race. 
It was a hell of a race. Best, I feel, my best race that I've ever done. But the the course, totally, it's just, no free miles. No free miles whatsoever. If you're, not, if you're going downhill, you're going downhill through sand. So you need to pedal. So you're still going basically uphill. The uphills were so hard. The one, I don't even think the top riders could ride it up. Everybody I saw climbed off, hike a bike. But so enjoyable, so enjoyable. Loved it. Um, so out of the gates, starting in B group, like I said, and out of the gates, I was with the top five riders. We sprinted away from the rest. Actually, quite a lack of pace. Usually, I just kill myself in the beginning, but quite a lack of pace. We hit a couple of sand patches. First couple I was fine with, and then I hit one or two. I just didn't manage to get through them as nicely as the rest of the guys. So they they broke away from me a bit, lost the will. And I just I couldn't. I didn't want to overpower myself and just destroy the rest of my race to catch them. So I just kept my own pace, fought the wind. Oh, the wind was howling. The the whole time. Felt like every corner we go around, there's more wind. Um, eventually, I got one of the other B group guys came and caught up to me, and the two of us worked so well together. Both of us got the same pace, both willing to work in front. As soon as one gets tired, the other one pulls in front, and we just set an awesome pace. Overtook probably most of the ladies' group. And then at, what was it? I think it was the second water point. Um, my partner had problems with his front wheel, needed to bomb it or something. So I bid him adieu and good luck and carried on going. There was a couple of hair-raising downhills. Oh, the one downhill. So the two of us motoring down there. He's got a full sus, so he's... He's doing quite well. He's not as technical, but he's doing quite well because of his suspension. Me with my hard tails is getting shaken around like a rag doll. And this lady that we overtook on the previous uphill, she comes down there like a bat out of hell, freaking jumping rocks. It looked like she didn't even touch her brakes. Every hairpin corner we get to, she just locks up the back brake for a second, hoist the back wheel around and then just carry us on going. She overtook us and just dropped us. Couldn't do anything about it. She was phenomenal. Found out after, after the fact that she's a motocross rider, probably one of the most decorated ladies on two-wheeled motorbikes in South Africa. So blew my mind. And then I felt better about myself. But yeah, Caught her on the one hill, we were sort of riding together, going up the lacquer rocky climb, enjoying it, hoying millies, got into such a groove, and then all of a sudden, my front wheel washes out with all the freaking rocks. And I fell down. It's, fall is okay, you're going up, you're not going that fast. Not like, you got, not like I got that hurt. I did sprain my, my thumb a bit, but nothing bad and then she came past me and as I stood up my freaking leg cramped and just I stood there for like five minutes waiting for this cramp to finish eventually it, I just decided no it's not happening so I bent my leg put my foot on my back wheel stretch it out a bit decided screw that fighting through this power on climbed back on the bike and just carried on going. Overtook all the people that just overtook me while I was waiting. I just slow pokes. Overtook all of them, then hit the downhill, sore thumb, sore ass, and probably one of the rockiest technical downhills I've ever seen. And it's supposed to be cheap track, like, no way. I would love to see a car to car get up there. Went down there. All the guys came past me. It was hard tail down that 
rougher surface. You just there's nothing. No matter your skill, you, you're not going to keep up with a full size. But I went down there, got to the bottom, saw uh, Amy Beth McDougall. She I don't know what happened to her. I think she fell out or broke her rim or something. Knowing her, it probably broke her rim. She's a machine on the single track downhills. So probably broke a rim, but I saw her pushing at the end. Uh, got to the bottom of the hill, felt so lazy. I don't know why. Downhills make me lazy. I just want to free for the rest of the race. So the, when people came past me, and I saw how hard they were pushing. I was like, wait, that's how I'm supposed to be riding. I'm in a race, focus. Luckily, I knew the the rest of it is basically flat. The only uphills there is is like slow poisons and sand, of course. We my bilingue, like what else? And I just poured my caffeine gel, put the head down, and just dropped the hammer and just plowed it through. Coining it like I got into such a groove, overtaking guys on all the slow poison, making up lack of time went through the last water point, which is actually a beer point. And you gotta have a sip of beer. So I stuck my hand out to one of the spectators and he's like, yeah, sure. He pops me his draft, grab a massive sip of it. And as I get to the other side of the water point, there's another guy jogging next to me to grab the glass from me, gave it to him and carried on going. Amazing, loved it. But then instant regret, probably about 5k's down the way that alcohol hit my legs and your brick wall both legs cramped up I could feel I had energy still in my body but my legs were literally on the verge of cramping I did cramp up because I thought that I could just stretch them out by standing both of them locked up eventually I managed to get my ass back on the seats and just pedal and from there it was just maintain just get to the finish but I was so stoked when I got to the finish. Felt like it's best I've ever, most I've ever pushed my body. Fantastic race for me. And the track, something I, I haven't experienced. I mean, I've been to Sabi this year. I went to Clarence, all those big mountains and that. But the Bosfeld. Bosfeld is totally different mountain biking. You think you're going on a flat, and no, it's, it feels like an uphill, because there's sand, there's such rough and raw terrain. It's a totally different kind of race, totally different beast. You've got to know how to ride through sand, you've got to know how to dodge water holes, then we'll just rip up the road and that, so all the single track. You don't cut a corner unless you can see the corner. There's a couple of people that I saw pushing bikes back. Like two Ks in, the first guy from A, a Batch is busy walking his bike back in. I'm like, Daniel, someone needs to calm down a bit. It takes a, a totally different aspect to mountain biking. It was great. I love the LCC chill zone again. Everybody's just sitting around there having a couple of beers telling war stories about the races. It was quite like a props to my little sis. She went on the 20k. Really enjoyed it. Apparently she didn't even just climb off once in the sand, which like tip the hat to that. Even my dad fell on his ass going through the sand, but that's because he's messing around. But yeah, little sister. Second for all oh, this is her second 20k race and managed to get through all of that sand without walking sure and she dropped her 19 year old cousin dropped him came over the finish line before him <laughs> but so got this uh, everybody enjoyed it such a like a race it's totally different like, you can do all the other trail seekers and say what you want Lion Man's is totally different race, and it's it's something special. Everybody needs to do it. And it's such an awesome race. Top tips for Lion Man: know how to ride sand. Make sure your slime is topped up. 
and water. And it's the middle of winter, supposed to be. Hell no. I swear I got a tan. Literally got a hardcore tan from yesterday. So hydrate. And dang on people. Remember shoes, remember bottles, all your basics. Come on. Pack that bag before the night before and make sure you get everything. The amount of people that were there before the race asking us if we got spare shoes and bare, spare helmets. Like, come on, son. Get your shit in order. It's a very enjoyable race. Don't get pissed off with the sand. It's mountain biking. Suck it up. If you didn't want sand, didn't want rocks, go do road. We mountain bikers, we hardcore. We do what we take whatever comes. Let me show you guys our view. So I'm chilling here in the Boma. And out there, we got all of our black of view of the plane. And that's a little posse, a little chill in the stoop. This is just awesome. This place is just so like a such a chill place. Nothing much to do, but what more do you want? You just, just want to chill. Just relax. After a race like that, you just want to sit with your feet up all day. I'm out. Cheers.